There's a pretty one, Ulysses. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean the Book Maniac. I'm dying to tell you about this novel I finished last night, The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa, a Japanese novel, first published in 2003 and translated into English in 2009. So I'm very late to this party, and I am here to tell you that, especially if, like me, you were almost ready to give up on Japanese literature, it's so cold, so weird, so emotionally unsatisfying, this is the book for you! I absolutely I love this book with all my heart. Five star read. I'm not going to do a long review. I checked on booktube and uh, several booktubers have weighed in, but none recently, so I thought I would just try to get the, the conversation restarted on this novel because it's absolutely wonderful. This was a buddy read, my very first buddy read, with Jacqueline of Six Minutes for Me, and we both really, really loved it. And let me just tell you uh, the opening premise. The housekeeper is a single mother. She's got a son who's about 10, maybe. I'm not good with children's ages, but that's my guess, or my memory. And she works for a temp agency doing housekeeping work. And she gets a new assignment working for a mathematics professor who's retired. She finds out right away that he was in a bad car accident at the age of 47. He's now in his mid-60s and he lost his short-term memory and since the accident he's only had short-term memory of 80 minutes so anything that happened more than 80 minutes ago since the accident he has no memory of so he doesn't know her every morning when she comes to work and the, the, the introductions have to be done daily he is the sweetest one of the sweetest straight men in all of literature he wears a threadbare suit with uh, notes clipped to his suit. Uh, the whole of his attire is very um, unfashionably clipped with notes to aid in his memory. He meets the housekeeper's son and every time he sees this kid he says, you look like the square root sign and he pats his head and so he eventually puts a note on his suit with the square root sign saying the housekeeper's son and it just goes from there so I don't really need to say much else about the plot if this appeals to you <laughs> read this book he loves to in the most unpedantic and gentle way explain math to the housekeeper and her son neither of them are mathematically inclined but because of the tenderness and childlike joyousness of his explications, they fall in love with mathematics at the same time that they fall in love with him. Now, so I'm here to tell you that I hated math in school and have used a calculator for anything more complicated than 2 plus 2 equals ever since. And the other thing is, both the professor and the son, who becomes quickly named Root in the novel, the professor and Root both love baseball. There is a famous baseball player in the in Japan, Tokyo Tigers player, what is his name? I think it's uh, Yutaka Inatsu. But of course, the professor is still living in almost 15 years, uh, almost 20 years before, so he thinks that Inatsu is still alive, still playing for the Tokyo Tigers when in fact he'd been traded to another Japanese baseball team a few years later, and so they they work really hard to keep him engaged with baseball while keeping the news about Inatsu's dead and had been traded to another team, and so there's all that. Th so I hate sports of all kinds, baseball among them, I just loathe sports and mathematics. I love this novel. I don't know how to recommend it any more highly than that. Uh, really well written translation uh, from 2009 by S Stephen Snyder. It's my first Yoko Ogawa uh, novel. Apparently this is a bit of a departure from other fiction. I heard maybe her, her other novels are darker than this. This one is light. My eyes welled up on page one, and I almost burst into tears by the end of chapter one, and it just went from there. So if you like literary fiction that is heartwarming and makes you feel good about life, and a quirky perspective on human relationships, there's no sexuality, there's no 
nothing romantic other than just friendship between these people. Uh, it's it, it's a Sean book through and through. There, I did wonder at times about the 80 minute short term memory thing, but I, and I saw on Goodreads other readers struggled a bit with that, but because it seems like sometimes his memory goes past that, but the more I thought about that, I have made peace with it in this way. If you have 80 minutes of short-term memory and you're spending a longer period of time uh, in one particular experience or with one or more particular people, you're always losing one minute and gaining another, so you, it's still a continuous flow, so he doesn't become anxious or get confused because he's still got the previous 80 minutes in any given situation and so then I thought okay no it's okay because there's a there's one day trip where they leave the house together and he he's confused about a new environment and stuff but once he settles in he's fine for the rest of the day and I thought oh, she's only got the 80 minutes but no that's how I made peace with that and I, I the novel really worked for me everything is not neatly tied up at the end I love that there were questions I don't think I'm going to start studying math or but I might read more about math, mathematical fiction. This was just an absolute delight. So, that's all I know how to say about it. Please, check it out. The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa. Thanks for watching.